Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today we are going to do a sky replacement tutorial and I'm going to show you what I use, how I use it, why I use it. Um, essentially, the main reason why I do use it is because I do have one client in particular who will ask for essentially almost every exterior shot from a property or properties. And so it's more about doing a lot of them fairly efficiently as opposed to just doing one like a twilight where I where I can really spend a lot of time on it. So I use a program called Landscape Pro Standard. I have version 2.3.1 which does a very nice job and it kind of gets me into a groove um, and I can crank out quite a few in a short amount of time and um, so let's go through that right now. So here's Landscape Pro Standard. Um, I'm going to open an image. I'm going to I'm going to show you an easy one, and I'm going to show you a more difficult one. Um, so let's go to kind of the easy one. You open up the program like this, and here's the shot that I'm, I need a sky replacement on. And what you do over here on the right hand panel, there are different um, things that you need to label in the shot. Okay, so here's the sky. So I take sky and I drag it over. I have some tree issues off to the side here. I have that. And I have this, so I'll label tree a few times. I have a building, obviously, and I could probably just put that label on, but sometimes I'll just drag another one over. Here's grass over here. Okay, here's another tree. I'll just put that over here. This, I'll see what it looks like. You can always go back to it. Once I've labeled things, I go to continue, and it will kind of, it'll color code things. The building is blue. The sky is like this kind of orange, pink for the grass, things like that. Um, and as you can see, it had a difficult time over here with the tree and it kind of labeled things up. Here's the beauty of this program, why I use it so much. Down here, you can select a tool called Tree Sky. And what it allows you to do is take this arrow and just roughly scribble over stuff. And the program does a really nice job, actually, of picking out the sky from the tree. Okay. And I just kind of go over everything like this. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect right away. I can go back, but I kind of do this, and I kind of pick out where the tree in the sky is. Now there it made a little mistake. We may have to go back to that. We'll just see how it how it handles it. So we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna pull this over here like this, and you can see I don't have to get every branch exactly perfect, but something like that is fine, okay? Um, this down here I'm not worried about. I mean, if I want to do, I could pull the grass, but it doesn't really matter. It, it's not going to get in the way of the of the sky or whatever. So once I have that pretty much labeled, I go to continue. You pick the horizon. Um, where would the horizon be with the sun? And most of the time it gets it right. I leave it alone, but I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. Okay, go to continue. Okay, now here is where you can pick sky. Okay, here's where the key is now. You can pick the atmosphere uh, that you want the clouds and the sky to be. Is this was this at sunrise? You know, was it um, in the morning? And I usually pick noon two. Okay, I could probably pick noon one, noon three, but noon two tends to be the best for me. But here's other things too: evening. Do you want it to be kind of a stormy atmosphere? Things like that. That'll be on there. But because we're going for daylight, I pick noon too, and then I'm going to replace the clouds in the sky, all right? And they give you some, and you can also load your own. So I've loaded some here. These are more for twilights, things like that. What I normally do with skies, I do not want the sky to take over the shot. I want it to add. So I usually go down to the very bottom here, and there's some things called wispy. And you can just try some. Like that, and it'll kind of fill them in. There's Wispy one. I could just kind of see what looks natural. That I kind of like actually. Okay, and I can take my mouse and I can scroll with my with the wheel and kind of do something like that. And I can kind of change it. I can even just click, hold it, and kind of drag it like that. I think that looks pretty good actually right there. Okay. Um, and then I can also play with the cloud density. I can make the clouds a little denser. I can make them a little more transparent, things like that. I'm just going to thicken them up a little bit. And that's really about it. Okay, so there's my replacement sky. Now I just take a, a quick peek. 
how did it how did it mask things now you see over here here's where it got a little weird okay with this building it's really not a big deal I could probably leave it but I am going to pull the building because that is and just be really careful with this arrow and just fill that in so that it's building and then I click that again and there I am and it kind of masked it out so that's that's a little bit clearer and crisper and that's really about it now what I could do if I want to do once in a while I'll go to the entire picture I'll maybe bring up the saturation a little bit maybe the overall exposure I want to bring up just because it is supposed to be bright and sunny things like that okay it did change the sky a little bit okay maybe bring up the vibrance a little so you can work with the entire picture too like that if I want to bring up the fill light things like that bring it down so it's a little more shadowy so it's capable of quite a bit um, I don't mess with a whole lot of this stuff but you certainly could play with these sliders things like that and there's your sky replacement it's really that quick then I go to save as and I'll call it you know something different like B I'll save it and then I'm, I'm done with that one and then what I'll do is I'll go to home I'm gonna open up the next image let's take a look at one that's gonna be maybe a little more difficult let's try this one where there's a definitely a lot more trees involved again pull the sky over and then just start labeling tree all over okay tree by the house tree now I know that this is the same tree but I just want the program to know okay here's building here is grass and there's another building over here there's some more trees way off in the distance here I could probably label that one like that you go to continue here's the beauty of this program the tree and sky tool okay I just scribble over it fairly roughly like this just kind of make sure it's doing a pretty good job again if I miss something I can go back that's the beauty of it nothing is set in stone here this one by the by the actual house you have to be a little careful here but the ones that are actually silhou silhouetted against the sky the program does a really nice job I was really impressed actually when I first used it I I, I didn't think it would be this good but you just have to be careful in here and there's a chimney I think I lost part of the house I can tell the house got a little yeah I'm gonna move the building over here and then go to tree keep kind of pulling here okay I can see over here it it, it kind of messed up a little bit okay you're asking the program to do something really difficult to, to mass that out so if I want to pull the building I have to I have to go to the pull tool pull it over like this okay here we go like that and I think I'm gonna I think I'm ready to kind of continue on here it's gonna ask for the horizon I'm gonna leave it like that we're gonna go to sky again if I'm doing a batch of like eight or nine of these together from the same property you want to pick the same atmosphere these are supposed to be taken at the same time okay now let's say you know you wanted something dramatic dramatic sunset you know it, it can replace the sky and it does it you know let's say you wanted stormy or we wanted night I mean it'll it'll drop it in you know let's say it was in the morning you want a little bit of Sun it, it does a really nice job here's pink there so again I am gonna go with noon let's try something different let's try noon Oh, let's see. What can we try and set a noon to? There's another noon to there. That's moon, low clouds. Let's see. Um, stars, storm. So you have quite a bit here you can choose from. Um, as far as the sky goes, let's go with wispy. Here's wispy seven. That looks pretty good again I'm, I'm kind of a fan of letting the clouds just kind of add a little bit I'm not trying to make them take over here's wispy four that's not quite enough there's wispy two that's what I used at the last one but let's go with six here I kind of like this 
So once I have that replaced, again, you got to quickly scan <clears throat> the buildings, the trees, make sure it masked everything. And it looks over here is a little spotty. It's not going to get it perfect every time, but if it doesn't, you go to add and edit areas again. And then I can pick tree sky if I need to kind of pull that again. That looks pretty good. I kind of missed some right there. So I can add that. Now you, you can see what I the chimney got taken away by the sky. It's kind of blue right here. You see that? It kind of missed it. So I'm actually going to pull the building up right there. And it didn't get it perfect. I can go to tree sky. And again, I'm not going for, for perfection here because um, I'm doing a lot of them fairly quickly. You can see a little bit of blue in this in this roof here. It isn't perfect, but that's pretty darn good actually. Again, go to the whole picture. Maybe I increase that a little bit, a little bit of a, a little bit of fill light, and maybe bump up the saturation a little bit. And that looks really good. I go to save as, call this a different name of something else, and then I would just go through my normal eight, eight or nine shots or whatever, how many they pick. So I'm really spending probably less than five minutes a shot. Probably three minutes really depends on how tough the trees are and things like that. But that's uh, what I use right now when I have to do like, like sort of a bulk um, project for a client, for one particular client. If it's something where it's a, it's a, you know, maybe it's a, a twilight shot, I maybe will use Landscape Pro. I'll try it out, but I did pick up Luminar 4 that uh, I haven't had quite a bit, quite a lot of time to play with it, but it's a program that, that's pretty good from what I've seen. So I, I may bounce back and forth between those two, but for bulk stuff, you gotta be quick, you gotta be efficient. I find Landscape Pro standard to be really very good. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this helped you. Subscribe to my channel, buy me a coffee, check out the link below, all that stuff. We'll check you later with another video. Keep living the dream and taking pictures. Talk to you later, bye-bye.